welcome back everybody. In this video what I want to do is look at the rhythm for Elizabeth Reed one more time. I did a video a while ago on this song and the volume on that video is very low. It's hard to hear even with your volume maxed out. So in this video I had a request uh, from Matt. He wanted me to take a look at how to play the rhythm that I just played in the beginning there for Elizabeth Reed to add in some of those extra parts. So I just want to show you that. This is going to be a quick video. I'm not going to get into the solos or anything like that. But I just want to show you what happens during that fast part. So first you're playing a C major 7 here. And just like in the intro where you're going C major 7. So just like you're doing that part, going to the A minor 7, and then to the B minor 7. The faster solo part near the end uses the same chords, but there's a little variation there. So you start off on the C major 7. So there's one variation that's thrown in there, and that's like this. So there, I'm playing an octave right there of the D. Here's D. So I'm playing the octave of the D right there. So the variation would go like this. So the rhythm really is like this. 